Question, I want to start investing in real estate and I want to buy my first investment property. Where do I start? First thing you need to do is get your financing and cash in order. If you have all cash to purchase a property, skip to the next part. But if you don't, investing on a on a investment property is much different than your personal residence. Personal residence, you don't need that much money to put down. On an investment property, normally you'll need 20% to put down of the purchase price. So if you're buying a $200,000 property, you're going to need $40,000 plus your closing cost to purchase that property. Sometimes the owner may offer owner financing, that's property specific, or sometimes you can use the rent or income from the property to cover some of those costs. But that's how much you'll need. You can get that money sometimes from the equity in your home or another property you own or from a gift from a relative. Number two, find the property you're looking for. Make sure you find a property that has uh, very good tenants, long-term tenants. You want properties where you're not paying a lot of expenses. You want properties in good location that are in good condition so you don't have a lot of upkeep and maintenance issues once you purchase it. Number three, once you find that property, you want to do a cost analysis. You need to find out the gross income that is coming into that property from the tenants and the rents, how much per month and annually. Then you need to find the gross and total expenses that are that you have to pay and you have to cover for that property each month and each year. Those will be the taxes, the insurance, uh, the any utilities, heat, electric, water, sewer, gas that you are paying, any other plowing, maintenance, or uh, lawn mowing, or upkeep needs that you have to take care of. Once you get the gross profit, you want to take off the total expenses. That will give you the net operating income. That tells you how much actual money that you're going to be getting each month and each year. From there, you can look at the total purchase price and run some diff different analysis like capitalization rate, cost on cost analysis, and other things that a, a lender or a real estate investor uh, and real estate agent like myself can help you. I've been a investor in real estate and I've been helping people invest in real estate for over 20 years and I'd be happy to help you. Have questions? I got answers. 570-500-SOLD.